Hello everybody, welcome to another World of Warship Blitz videos. This video is a battle replay and it is a battle replay in the tier 8 premium Japanese destroyer, the Yukikaze. So the Yukikaze is available in the shipyard for 35 steel. I had 28 steel and then I realised I had a couple of tier 8s that, well, they were pretty close to getting their, their, um, their hero missions or their battle missions, battle medals, whatever it is. Um, that was another 8 steel taking me to 36, which is, well, what I needed. I'd also done my sums and I didn't have enough premium ships because premium ship battle missions seem to earn steel. I didn't have enough premium ships to um, get over the line with the um, with the Missouri, which is 60, which would be another 25 steel. So I thought, um, well, I need a high tier Japanese ship, premium ship to train up captains. And this one is going to be training up the Akazuki captains, it turns out, because it seems like the Akazuki captain skills and the yak, yak, Yakikazuki... Yukikaze, Yukikaze, um, which the ship is, um, have complementary skill sets. So, um, um, because as much as it surprises me, this ship has um, fuel smoke rather than just the normal smoke. And fuel smoke um, seems to benefit from um, the Mistweaver skill. So it seems to be extremely... Um, long lasting compared with the 15 well the 15 seconds seems to last a lot longer than i would expect here we go we're in for a uh, akazuki we've got some pretty nice hits on that battleship um this guy's coming in he's probably going to fire some torpedoes and we're going to turn our way back in but turn in relatively slowly if we haven't seen the torpedoes by now then they're probably not coming in i do actually have um sonar in this although i don't really use it as a destroyer for my own benefit i actually more or less use it for the benefit of um friendly battleships because as a sort of an escort destroyer it's actually pretty good it doesn't quite have the gun power that has enough japanese these little japanese guns um, the two turrets on the rear are really nice because what that means is that you can kite away quite nicely I do spend a lot more time on the guns than I'd expected, but, um, you know, the Japanese guns are hard-hitting little guns for destroyer guns, very slow firing. There's the fuel smoke, using that to line up the torpedo shot, and, well, there wasn't much need for that. Um, and as you can see, the fuel smoke just, just pushes ahead of the destroyer, and we're done invisible and then it's time for well taking on this destroyer um i was hoping to um use my torpedoes to um send him a message but well that didn't happen uh the great thing of course about having slow firing guns is that you can um fire your torpedoes in between shots and it's not clear that you've actually launched torpedoes he's launched torpedoes at me um i'm see slowing down and he takes one on the bow and he's done and it's time for me to get out of here. So we've got a nice kill to our name. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just a nice little ship for just driving around and wrecking stuff. And I've got two of those smokes. And as you can see, the smoke cooldown is incredibly quick. So it's a good combination. And it really suits my style because, yeah, I really don't like sitting still. It is a bit of a problem waiting for those torpedoes to reload. But um, actually, there is a bit of a skill for, for predicting ships. I mean, just firing down the cone, you sort of got a bit of get a bit of a feel for it. And um, it is possible to, well, I mean, all the techniques that I use in the Leander around denying destroyers patches of ocean apply here. There's the Kaga. His plane's flying overhead. What's this? This is an Akazuki, which is a uh, very much a gunboat. But we're after the big stuff. There's no way I'm going to be able to destroy him. Besides which, he's busy with aircraft. And here we go. And we pop the smoke. Pre-aim the torpedoes. And thank you very much. Get out of here. Oh, he's not dead. But that's okay. He's mostly dead. And we see if we can get some more shots in on him. 
and we are lucky enough to snag the kill we've got the akazuki there who's obviously not very happy about his mate going down um, his rate of fire really exceeds mine although his guns don't do a lot of damage per hit um, but even so um, i'm not really an anti destroyer destroyer so i'll just spot him and let someone else deal with him meanwhile um well actually here we go we've got a cargo oops i'm going to wear one of those and yep yeah, he's tried to predict um, this cargo captain probably isn't as skillful as most still learning um, because those were definitely misses um, now that's the akatsuki taken down by the brooklyn the um, Kaga is obviously doing a very good job of trying to torpedo us. And well, I think I'll miss if I fire my torpedoes at this range. You can see he's powering his ship up. Um, we've got some support by the um, overhead friendly fighter, which is nice. I think he must have just got him to follow my position. Uh, we'll try and lead him with a couple of torpedoes. I probably should have put a bit more lead on because he is accelerating. And we'll just hit him away. Oh, here we go. There's not much we can do about the bombs, but watch this for the torpedoes. And there you go. That's a bit confusing, isn't it? And he's just trying to basically uh, block me off. Um, see if he can get some lucky hits. I mean, the fact that it's very effective against the cargo is another reason to absolutely love the um, fuel smoke that comes with the uh, Yukikaze and well there's no way I was really going to take an aircraft carrier running away but I certainly stopped him from molesting the rest of the team so I'll take that as a win we get one torpedo hit on him um, which helps gives us a nice score gives us a battle star and um, yeah that's the Yukikaze um, a new favourite ship. <laughs> Definitely a lot of fun. And I've spent a bit of time in the um a bit of time in the Akatsuki learning how to use uh, Japanese torpedo destroyers. So when the Kagero comes around, which it eventually will, um I'll be able to do a very good comparison to see which is the better ship. Um I think I know which will win. <laughs> I'm a real smoke player. So there we go. Uh, 17 torpedo hits, 90 main battery hits. Pretty busy on the guns for a Japanese destroyer. But um, hey, you know what? If it works, and um, yeah, I don't I don't advocate shying away from the Japanese guns. 74,000 damage, two capture points, uh, two ships destroyed. Uh, the Yukikaze, lovely ship. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.